Center with a look at what's going on because Howard things are going to be chilling. Yeah, that's that's um, you know, it, that's a good way to look at it. Uh, we're cooking now, but yeah, we're going to be, um, you know, cooling down a little bit as we head into tomorrow night. National picture still high pressure holding on here in our region. Uh, we have a weak disturbance uh, right here producing some showers and some rain through Michigan, uh, Indiana, Illinois. That's moving off to the north and east. It's going to get picked up that disturbance by this upper level wave that's coming in through the northern plain states uh, that will swing into our area later tomorrow and drag a cold front across our area that will usher in some changes. But here this evening, if you have any plans, you like the warmth, enjoy it. Temperatures 70s and 80s, uh, still 80 in Cooperstown, 80 in Elmira. Uh, it was 80 earlier in Margaretville. It was 80 in Green. It's 82 in Shenango, 75 at the airport. Uh, you know, these numbers are 20 plus degrees above average for this time of day. Quiet, warm evening weather on the way. Winds increase through the day tomorrow. Will be a little bit windy. Cold front coming in tomorrow evening into tomorrow night. That, as I mentioned, brings changes and it will be turning much more seasonable for Thursday. So those winds tomorrow. Notice the wind direction and the wind speed out of the south and west. 20 five to 30 miles an hour for the afternoon. Now, as we get into dinner time, notice the winds um, kind of shift more to the west and west southwest. That's indicating something happening. Look at the magnitude of the gusts come down just a little bit, but then by 11 or 12 o'clock, look what happens. Yeah, the magnitude cranks back up and the direction changes as well. What happened? The cold front came through. So expect a breezy day tomorrow that um, will probably do a pretty good job at ripping the leaves off some of the trees. Not all of them, but you can expect a lot more leaf fall tomorrow. This is unbelievable, not unbelievable. This is uh, the pattern setting up for the end of the month into the first five days of November. About as strong a signal as you can get of having above average temperatures here in the Northeast, Pennsylvania, all of the Empire State essentially. Expect warm weather to continue. Maybe not 80s, but definitely above average temperatures. 11 o'clock tonight, we're clear. Tomorrow morning, clear. Tomorrow afternoon, we will see an increase in clouds through the uh, uh, dinner time, but I, I still think we're dry. 8, 9 o'clock, few showers coming in. By 10 or 11 o'clock, I, I don't know what happened. The showers disappeared. Um, I'm not sure if they're missing. I'll have to go back and check. I do think we get some showers later tomorrow as the cold front comes in, um, but it will be after 7 or 8 o'clock. By 7 o'clock in the morning on Thursday, we're left over with cloudy skies, but then by Thursday afternoon, Thursday night and Friday morning, we are back into uh, the sunshine as dry air returns. So that seven-day forecast shows that chance of rain tomorrow. 30 to 40 percent late in the day into the early overnight hours. Um, we're cooling down. We're struggling to 50 on thir excuse me on Thursday. Friday we're in the mid to upper 50s. Saturday and Sunday kind of a uh, up and down ride there. More seasonable, and then we're going to stay in the 50s there for Monday and Tuesday as well. So I know last week when we kind of had similar temperatures to this, mm -hmm. you were talking about the possible chance for some flurries. Are mm -hmm. we going to be seeing that again? I don't have any snow in the forecast uh, tomorrow. I don't All think right. the atmosphere is going to get cold enough, but. Um, uh, in due time, hopefully we'll get some <laughs> snow, maybe this winter, I don't know, <laughs> but the way it's been the last... Maybe at some point. Maybe at some point, <laughs> who knows? I mean, we have six months to get some snow, yeah. but um, I think it's a little, little premature to be talking about any sort of snow, at least in this forecast. It'll All be right. cold overnight, but I don't think it'll be cold enough to snow. All right, well